if you are still watching, it means you like the look of this build. Redwoods Cabin 2 in the redwoods of the center, built from wood and glass. It's an A-frame cabin. What is going on, geeks? Unite the clans here. Back in your life, the Bob Ross of Ark. You can call me UTC for short, and we're going to start this one off with something we don't always do, a tour of the finished build, just so you can get excited. A dining area included in this one and some very cool storage nestled into that useless part of the A-frame cabin. We have a deck just out here and I've included a crafting area, but the interior, as always, is up to you guys. Come on over here to the bedroom. You will take a look that we've included a separate bedroom. It's got a nice little sleeping area here and an amazing deck with an amazing view of the center redwoods check that out all right what is going on geeks sit back relax and we're going to do another arc building tutorial before we start i gotta do the patron shout out thank you to my man stevie lad for supporting me through patreon you make these videos possible and i appreciate all of my supporters so let's get to the key stuff 85.5 42.0 on the center and um you can take a look at the materials here pause if you need to but there will also be a list in the the uh, comments pinned to the top of the comments with the coordinates so do not stress so I should warn you guys, this is going to be a bigger build and probably a longer video. Uh, the inspiration comes from Redwoods Cabin 1, and um, I have a particular shout out to Zealous Raven. He took inspiration from my first cabin. He built a bigger version, and I'm taking inspiration from that. Thank you, sir. I will talk more about you later on. So start this thing off with a 3x4 platform wooden foundations, and you're going to need a big flat space because this is only the beginning. <laughs> All right, guys, from the back of this, we are actually going to build. So build one off, uh, and then from there, build four off to the side. And um, attached to this 3x4, we are going to be building a 6x12. So you're going to need to find a big, big space or do it on um, ceilings instead. Uh, okay, so we're going to go ahead and, and take this out, another four on this side. And once we've done that, we are going to need... That's perfect. So that's what you should be looking like, guys. This is the beginning of the 6x12. So from here, you're going to want to build uh, 6 deep. So that's 2, 3, oh, geez. And I'm having lag. Um, uh, so there may be parts of this video that have to get cut out. Let me double check what we're doing here. Let Just double check. I like to make sure that I get this perfect. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay. So that is the beginning of the 6x12. You're going to want to take these ones all the way across the back and take them until you get uh, to the, the sort of the same depth as your, or the same width as we did off the left side of this build. And you can see exactly the lag I'm experiencing. Apologies for that. I may need to cut away chunks of this because my internet has been a mess today. So until you get to the same depth as we built out uh, from that first set of foundations, and I think it's two more, one more. So let's have a look. Yeah, that is perfect. So go ahead and um, fill this in and you will see we now have a six by 12. You're gonna have to go ahead and fill in the middle, but that's what we're looking like. Okay, so with it all filled in, you can see it guys. And we're gonna take a second and you can see a three by four attached to a six by 12. I want you guys to get this perfect because uh, this is key. You need even numbers of widths to get this build just how we want it, but you could do a slightly smaller version of this, I'm sure. All right, guys, so to capture the look of an A-frame cabin, what you need is sloped walls, and you need them to begin at your furthest out foundation. Uh, so to give us the framework to build those sloped walls on, we're going to start with some glass door frames. And glass was the key to Redwoods Cabin 1 having a look that was really unique, uh, and I think it's going to be key to this one as well. So start with a couple door frames, put a glass wall on either side and a glass wall on top of each, and now with your what would it be? The right sloped wall. Go ahead and build all the way up to the peak and then grab your left slope walls and bring it down to the other edge. And you will see the shape of this build. It's beginning to take shape. All right, let's back up and take a look. That is looking good. Okay, now we're going to head to the other end and do the almost the exact same thing. So uh, this side we're doing with a double high door because I think to get a deck off this side of the build we need to use ceilings and at least for my character I get stuck trying to go from foundation to ceiling on a single high 
uh, door frame. So go double high if you need to do ceilings. Um, so that's our second, and this is our third. In this four wide section, we're gonna do the same thing. Door frames side by side, and then we're gonna go straight to the sloped walls and make a uh, four wide A-frame. And this is the shape of the original cabin. So we're going a lot, a lot bigger. Um, particular shout out to a viewer of mine, Zealous Raven. If you guys would like, and you do this build or you do a version inspired by this build, um, hit me up on Twitter, at Unite the Clans. Zealous Raven saw my first cabin and built a bigger, better version. By the way, check out, those are your peaks, guys. Make sure you got them looking just like that. He built a bigger, better version. And when I needed inspiration today, I went to his version and hopefully didn't steal too much. But um, you never know. If you do hit me up on Twitter or use the hashtag Bob Ross of Arc, you, uh, you may just get in touch with me and be able to inspire a future build. So we need another A-frame and we need it uh, just uh, just inside from that last one. So instead of at the edge of our original 4x3, you're going to want to come one deeper, and we're going to be creating a bedroom that's 4x4, four four, and do this one out of wood. I did a door frame and a window, and this is actually going to form the bedroom that you saw at the beginning of the video. Dang lag. <laughs> All right, so it should be looking something like that. My fro is awesome. All right, guys, so uh, I fly usually when we're doing the roof, um, and I like to make sure that I show you how to do the roof because we have intersecting sloped roofs, and um, people always have trouble with those. And the key that I have found, move clockwise around the build. Try and place the piece that's going to be on your left before the piece that's going to be on your right if you're standing on the outside. So go ahead and do wood at this lower level. The entire lower level is going to be wood in this case. So um, we're actually going to want to bring a sloped wall over from our A-frame on this side and connect it. So you can see we placed the one on the left first and we should be able to take this one on the right and intersect them, which we can. Beautiful. So I'm going to show you exactly why you do it that way, guys. If we come from the other side and we try, whoops, and we try to do it this way, it's definitely not going to work. So we're going the right side in first and we're trying to put the left side in. First of all, it's a lot harder to find the snap point, And when you do, you'll see that you can't place it. So take that one out, place the left, then the right, or like I said, move clockwise around this baby. Um, that takes you guys to the first break. Don't forget to tweet me at Unite the Clans with your version of this build. Let's do it. And welcome back, guys. So I went and did uh, sloped walls all along the back, and you can see the entire lower level is sloped wooden walls. And now it gets interesting. We're adding in skylights. So with the sloped wooden walls, you want sloped greenhouse walls or the sloped glass ones from S+, Plus, if that's what you're going to be building this in. So take a look at what we got there, guys. I think it looks good, and we're really about to settle in to uh, the key parts of this build. This part, though, is really up to you. So what I'm going to do here is uh, a three-wide skylight, and we did a two-wide on the smaller portion of the A-frame, and on the back we're actually going to do four-wide, but this is so up to you. Whatever inspires you, whatever you think looks good, do it, and, and make sure you share it with me, guys. So uh, I'm only including the, the skylights on the version of this. By the way, you need to come in and place one down here, um, and that's why we did those walls there. This is actually going to end up framing in that little bedroom. So try and get this piece in first. Let me see if I can do it. Yes. Come on. That's it. Gosh, that lag. Okay. <sighs> Dang Canadian internet. Jeez Louise, I might have to cut away. I'm going to go do the other side. I will be right back. All right, and that's what we should be looking like, guys. I love it. So put the skylights where you want. I would love to see your version of the build, and that's what you look like on the inside. A little A-frame, framing in that bedroom. All right. Now, for skylights on the back, we are going to do, like I said, a four-wide. So starting where they start on the front, continue across and place four. Then we're going to have two sloped wooden walls here in the middle. And we're going to carry this all the way over to the other side. Once again, one, two, three, come on lag, and four. And you're going to want to place one slope wall here to finish the job. Try and line up your edges. Perfect. All right, guys, that is what you're looking like at this stage. And the roof actually just gets finished off with wood. You could totally put skylights all the way to the peaks. But for us, we're going to take wood all the way across. I'm probably going to cut some of this out for you guys. I won't make you watch the whole dang thing. And ta-da. So that's what we're looking like, guys. This place is 
uh, largely done. The frame of it is done, but we have a lot of work to do on the interior. So this build is as much about the outside as the inside. Before we get there, we do have to do something cool. So I'm actually going to go too high on this side because if you have a look, this is the side where I need the ceilings. So I kind of got that wrong in the intro. I can't do foundations here. So I have to do ceilings and my character gets stuck every time he tries to go through a one high door from a foundation to a ceiling, I, I gotta crouch. So go ahead and do this. If you have more space, make a bigger deck. Uh, but for me, I'm just gonna put those on either side and um, we're gonna add a cool trick. One thing I hated about the first version of the Redwood Cabin is that both doors faced the same way. I really wanted them to be symmetrical. So door handles on the inside. And to accomplish that, we're gonna actually put a second set of greenhouse door frames up. So this can be a little bit difficult to snap. And if you're not careful, you're going to bust up all your glass door frames. So be careful. Um, so with this in place, we're actually going to get to accomplish something very cool that I have never managed to accomplish before. You can see just like Minecraft, that door frame can switch sides. It's beautiful. So have your door handles on the inside on the, the outer side. The, you know what I mean? Have your door handles on the inside uh, and it's going to end up looking like this. Let me grab a torch for you guys. Well, we'll see. I can look at it from the outside. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, so there we go. See? S symmetry. I never accomplished that before. Um, so that's a cool trick, a tip, and one you guys can use. Check it from the inside. I love that. That worked out so good. All right, so we're going to go do the same thing down this end. Now, on this end, I can use foundations, so we don't need a double high glass door. Uh, if you want, you could keep it for symmetry, or you could go ahead and put a glass wall up there. But for me, I can manage to do foundations out here. So I'm only going to do them, if I, if I recall, four wide. I'm not going all the way to the edge. And um, if I remember, I'm not going to be able to do, yeah, I can't do all foundations. So I'm going to do foundations transitioning to wooden ceilings um, but because you're walking from foundation to foundation as you go through the door frame you shouldn't have any issues maybe nobody else has any issues maybe it's just my fro getting stuck but for me you, I can go ahead and replace these with glass and I think that's gonna look good now the next step requires wooden fence foundations um, and we're gonna snap them to the outside edge of our ceiling and of our foundation so we'll put one there and if I can I'll do my best to line one up um, in the end, I think it's not going to matter too much, but we'll put it here just to be safe. Uh, I think that'll work. So grab a stone pillar, guys, and this is going to frame in the deck on this side. It's going to be a bigger uh, deck for sure. And then from here, we're going to want a wooden railing. Now, because we have a foundation and a ceiling and because we have those fence foundations, you might end up with that, yes. Uh, so take this out and you're gonna wanna fiddle around until until you can get these railings to line up so they don't look quite so derpy. So you can see that's not right. Maybe I have to go to the inside. Let's come around here. So you can see, uh, let me go, uh, wait, wait. Come on, there, that's how you want it. Beautiful, so keep that all lined up and I think it's gonna look good. Add one more here, like so. And what we're going to do is, is actually come do this on the other side. But um, just so that you guys see exactly how it's supposed to look, we'll come back here. Not jump. Yeah, how about that instead? That looks perfect. Let's go do the other side. All right, guys. This is how this thing should be looking. Very, very good. And I'm excited for this. All right. So we are actually going to try uh, to accomplish the same thing on this side of the build as we did on the other. Double up your greenhouse doors. And with them only being one high, it's going to be a heck of a lot easier. So go ahead and grab your reinforced wooden doors and try and get the handles on the inside or the outside, whatever you think looks better. I think it's the inside. And we'll tuck this in just like this. Let me see if I can do it. And there we go. So the doors are slightly different depths. They're snapped to two different uh, frames, but to get the symmetry, for me, it seems like it's a worthwhile uh, trade-off. So let's head in here into the bedroom. All right, the time has come to attempt to work on this back deck. So uh, the first step, and this is up to you, but I'm gonna take these out. I want my wooden railings to go all the way across the edge of this deck. Now, when you do that, what you're going to end up with is railings sticking through your A-frame. But for me, 
It's more important that this looks good from the deck than it does from the outside. Because of where I've built mine, I'm cool with this. So we'll go ahead and replace those once we got the wooden railings in and you guys can take a look uh, in just a sec. We're gonna double up the glass door frames and then on this side, um, I think, we're gonna do uh, glass doors instead uh, of the reinforced wood because this, you don't need the same privacy. You want the light. Um, so let's go ahead and, and turn this if I can, so the handle's on the inside, and you're running out of space, so it can be a bit trickier. There, looking good, beautiful. Guys, if this build is helpful to you, make sure you share it around. I do these so you and your geeky friends can get better looking houses in Ark. You sharing it makes a big old difference, and check out that view. And welcome back, guys. I think we have literally completed all of the structural details, and all that's left is to design the interior of this place. I don't always take you guys through that, but I have some good ideas for today and how you might want to turn this place into your own and make it unique. Um, so we're going to start in the bedroom, and I'm going to take just one of these simple beds. I'm going to line it right up with the window, and this will be the the key feature, I suppose, as a, of a bedroom. There's not going to be a whole lot more to this place. I do want to close this off, though, and instead of a glass door or the reinforced ones, I think what we're going to use... Yeah, see, the reinforced ones don't line up right. I thought about it. We're going to go with the wooden door and slap that in there, and I think that's perfect. You could also put a window there if you want a little privacy over your bed. Um, what else do we need? A little lighting. Beautiful. Especially as the rain falls. This place is cool. When the sun hits those skylights and when the rain hits those skylights, I don't know. I feel... You feel at one with the forest, with the redwood forest. So that's lit. I can put my torch away. And I feel good about this bedroom. We may come and add um, some details in here later. Uh, if you'd like, guys, and you don't like these little useless spaces, you can really close these off. You could do it with um, window frames like this. Now, to do it, you'd probably have to take out that one slope wall right there as it's going to uh, collide and, and intersect. Um, an easy way to do it would be with door frames. And in the first version of the log cabin, I did it that way and with wooden walls, basically just closing off the space and making it feel like more of a square room on the inside. So that's up to you. Um, and here's what the door frames look like. If you go ahead and do it with the door frames where are they if you go ahead and do it with the door frames you could hide storage in behind there you could flip them inside out so you get the inner texture facing uh, the room but um, I think I'm gonna leave it as is for now we may be back here I'll see if I have any more features I want to add so take a look around guys we got a lot of space and it's really up to you what you do with it but I'm gonna give you some ideas over this next section of the video if I can make you if I can inspire you we, I will attempt to so this is something I showed off in log cabin one not log cabin one redwoods cabin one and we're gonna make it a big part of redwoods cabin two. take ladders and place them all along here all along this long side of the house and I know what you're saying dude where what is the point of these you can't climb up those those are useless well wow. I, uh, I got my inspiration and, and sort of the inspiration to start my YouTube channel from Minecraft. And I remember back in the day, my favorite Minecraft builders discovered that ladders aren't just for climbing. They can be used for decoration. And I think Ark needs more of that. You need more creativity and more thinking outside the box. So uh, what we're going to do is use those. This is how you should be looking. We're going to use those to cordon off this small little space. These little wedges of space on that last foundation are fairly useless if you can't find a good way to use them we're going to put storage in there and um so to get this right guys what i would recommend crouch and use your k camera and then if you can go left and right a little you're going to see if you're straight you're going to see if you're staying on the line of that wood and i'm not but now i am okay so this is key to keeping all these chests lined up and another key is when you place them don't move click and then click again so one okay okay Perfect, and we're gonna basically just strafe across the entire house doing it like this. You can fit two chests on each foundation and behind every ladder. Um, so go ahead and do that, and um, you're gonna have a ton of small storage containers. I hope that works for you guys. All right, so here we go, guys. This is how it's beginning to come together, and we are towards, yeah, second last one. Oh, lag, <laughs> and the last one. Yeah, perfect. So I know what you're saying. What? Well, why do you even put the ladders up? Well, the ladders are going to be part of this next phase of the build. So that's what you should look like with all your storage and all your ladders in. And now, as the rain stops, the time has come to use uh, some wooden railings. I've got those on my hotbar. 
All right, so we'll take those and we're gonna go across just like this, go across the full length of the house. So now what you have is a separated little area with some custom storage. I hope you like, guys. Let's go finish this job. Bring this all the way to the end. Ba-boom. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's move over here to the middle and take a look. That is how the thing is looking. I hope you like it and I hope you recreate this. It's one of my favorite features of the build. I think it looks so good. Okay, so we have some other spaces we want to take advantage of. Uh, one of them is up here uh, on my right, and we have another one back uh, on uh, the first side of the build. So back here, I think what we're going to do is a dining area. So I'm going to go ahead and put in two tables. And the one thing I hate is that they don't intersect well. It would be perfect like if you could put it right there, but you can't. So find the first green spot that's as close to the first table as possible. Do the same thing in strafe so that um, you keep them in line. And then uh, slap chairs all over the place if you want to create this. What I picture with an A-frame cabin like this is a bit of a traveler's lodge. Now, if I'd done it that way uh, in this version, instead of a single bedroom, I might have done a fireplace in that back room with sleeping bags in front of it like the first version. But um, the first version as a traveler's lodge never really got, um, it, it wasn't big enough to include something like this. So I'm going to include seating for like six or eight. I don't know how many we're going to end up with. And um, when I place chairs around a table, I don't do them straight. This is not a dinette set in somebody's you know furniture warehouse. This is a place where men would sit and drink beer and talk. So the chairs will all be in disarray. And if you want, for details, you can go ahead and add mortars and pestles. I've seen people do that many times. It looks like a placemat with a bowl and a utensil. I'm going to leave it as is because um, we don't have a cooking area. So for me, maybe this is the table you sit at and talk. Um, and now we got to move over to this other side. And we have one more area. I showed you in the intro that I'm going to use it for crafting. So uh, I have a few forges and I have a few smithies. Um, so what we're going to do is take our forges and this is up to you. It will stick through on the other side, but that's a feature I like. Um, we don't have a fireplace in this cabin, which is rare for OUTC. So uh, if you want, you could have your forges stick out and when they're burning, you will get a similar effect to a um, fireplace. So let's do I think two there and we'll go try and put one on the other side and um, let's point this one a little bit in and I'm hoping I have room for two smithies here in the middle why do I keep pulling out that GD chair we're gonna have to go use that let's put that in the bedroom at the end of this okay so I want the anvils to be on the outside and I want the two edges of the smithies to line up like a table it seems like I'm gonna have just the perfect amount of room let's see God dang, find the stupid thing. Okay, spin this baby around and crap, I can't see. Oh, that worked out perfect. So perfect. All right, guys, we are going to add some lighting. And this is the time, if you're still watching, for me to reach out to you guys. If you enjoyed this, click the like button. And if you're brand new, you want to make sure you'll subscribe. And if you like videos like this, go in the description. There'll be links to individual builds like Red One's Cabin 1, as well as to my creative building series, Arc Building Evolved. I've been having a lot of fun with that lately. If you want to make sure I can continue to make more videos like this, you guys can support me through Patreon.com. Uh, it makes sure that I can spend time doing fully finished cabins with uh, storage, crafting, dining, and bedrooms. These videos take a long time, and it's my patrons like Stevie Ladd who make sure this kind of thing can happen. Guys, this place is done. Thank you for joining me for this Redwoods Cabin 2. I am trying a new thing. I'm going to aim to bring you guys arc building videos every Wednesday and every Sunday going forward. This is my first attempt at a real schedule. I will do my best to stick to it. That brings us to the end of this build. Geeks, thank you for joining me. YouTube thinks they know what you want to watch next, but they are wrong. Click on the playlist that's popping up on your screen right now. This is my 11th building tutorial, so you have a bunch to watch if you enjoyed this one. But that does it. This has been Redwoods Cabin 2. I'm Unite the Clans, the Bob Ross of Ark. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next building tutorial.